Jeff Frick here. We are on the ground at the Gordon Beers Brewery in San Jose, California, just a short hop from the, uh, from the airport. You know, getting out in the field and exploring more tech and innovation beyond just the tech companies, but in all the other val uh, companies in Silicon Valley. So we're joined here by Caitlin Pura, who's in charge of marketing and strategy for Gordon Beers. Welcome. Hi. So thanks for hosting us today. It's been a great visit so far. And we're in another war room. If everyone could see around us, there's post-its. I feel like it's an agile software development uh, room. So clearly this is the war room. This is where you guys get it done. It is, it is indeed. So one of the most recent uh, updates to Gordon Beers is all around the packaging. So I wonder if you could tell us a little bit about um, where that came from and kind of how you are in the process and why you went with, you can see it in this, in this beer bottle next, is a, a different style of packaging. Yeah, we'll absolutely. Well, we really wanted to freshen up our look um, and it took us about a year to design all of our new packaging, as you can see on this giant bottle next to us. Um, very simplistic design, but fresh and edgy. We, we switched to a new logo that's um, a lot cleaner, and we have a color palette that really pops, so each style of beer has a very vibrant um, color that you can associate the, the beer style with, um, and we are really hoping that it pops off the shelves. So how did that process go down? Is you hire external company, you leading the charge? There's very few people in here walking around, I'll tell you. A lot of beer, <laughs> not a lot of people. So it's a small team. How does it work? It is a very small team. Um, it's all done in-house, and we are actually innovating on the marketing side of things by using a process called design thinking to um, inspire our package design. It's something um, taught at the design school at Stanford and that I'm hoping, hoping to integrate into all of our new, new packaging launches. Um, basically, it's very consumer uh, based and we take feedback on packaging designs from them and then iterate the design based on um, their response to it. And how's that done? Are you out in the field at bars showing people stuff? Or are you using a third party uh, out, out test? Or you just, you know, how does We're that very work? We're a DIY team. We do it ourselves. So um, out in the field, we take package concepts um, to people, interview them at bars, stores, colleges, um, and just find insights on what they think about it and create new designs based on what they want to see and what attracts them. So. It's a very fun process. So, so Dan paid you a great compliment on our on our way up here. He basically said, Caitlin is the idea gal. And it's got to be hard in a, in a business like beer that's been around forever to come up with innovations and to differentiate yourself in the marketplace. You sell a, a relatively simple, straightforward product. You've been selling it for a long time against massive brands with huge marketing spend. So, so what is kind of your philosophy and how do you come up with new and innovative ways to go to market? Right, I mean, the market is definitely becoming saturated and people are very creative on the beer marketing side of things. If you go to a beer shelf at Whole Foods, you'll see that. Um, we stick to traditional authentic style German beers and this packaging reflects that. And I think that to become more innovative, we want to start launching different style products. And we're thinking about a hard cider right now that's in the forefront. Um, and we're innovating there with a new marketing strategy for that. I would say that would be the most exciting. Um, we're doing a stealth launch of cider. We're calling it No Name Hard Cider. Completely blank packaging, um, blank tap handles that literally say No Name Hard Cider. Just to seed the market, we know it's a wonderful product. It's fresh pressed juice and yeast. We're the only cider company doing that right now. Um, so it's something that it's very much a um, taking taking feedback from other people to influence design there, so, so crowdsourcing it, the design. So is it out in the market? Um, on draft at certain accounts. On so draft at certain accounts. Keep your eye out. Called no name. Called no name. Okay, so uh, Bay Area pretty much, or pretty much outside the Bay, the Bay Area? Just the Bay Area right now, but um, you'll see it in Southern California hopefully soon and. We're out there. Awesome. So. so if you see the No Name Cider, send Caitlin a, a tweet, uh, an email. Hashtag let her No know. Name Cider. Hashtag No Name Cider. Tell yeah. what you think. And if you've got a design, uh, should they send their design into? Yeah, actually, there's a website you can visit, no nonamehardcider.com. No name hard side to come. So mm -hmm. that's interesting. So Dan's other great innovation in terms of new products beyond beer was garlic fries, which we forgot to ask him about. So now you guys are going to release hard cider. Let's shift gears a little bit about and talk about kind of social media. How have you integrated social media strategies, campaigns, etc., into your broader marketing efforts? Absolutely. Well, starting with the no name hard cider, no that's one of our <laughs> biggest uh, efforts right now. But um, 
I guess we are just starting to vamp up our social media. Um, that's definitely one of my initiatives. We're becoming more active on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Um, just really, we're, we're doing a lot of throwback Thursdays, which are great because you get to see Dan in his heyday, <laughs> opening the brewery restaurant and beer engineering school. Um, and I mean, we're really just trying to get a lot more content up there and, and work from the ground up. Yeah. So. Well, you got a great brand, right? And it's been around the Bay Area, especially for a very long time. A lot of uh, a lot of aficionados are excited to to be part of it, and I'm sure they'll be looking at you funny with yeah. the, the new packaging. But we'll all get used to the new uh, the new Gordon beer. So before we sent, sign out, any kind of final thoughts for the for the crew in terms of the challenges and the, and the opportunities and, and the real fun of bringing innovation to kind of an old school industry with a kind of a newer edge brand? Well, I just have to say. I love beer, <laughs> and um, it's, a, it's a great place to work at, and um, we have a lot of fun, and we work really hard at what we do, and um, it's truly an amazing product, and uh, we'd like to see our demographic spread to, to drink more more people drinking Gordon beers. There you go. So. Well, I, 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 I lied. I have one more question for you. Oh. Talk a little bit about um, working for Dan. Uh, the guy's a big personality. <laughs> He's clearly an innovator. He, 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 when he walks in the room, you'll know Dan is in the room. Talk a little bit about you know why you came to work for him. You said you're relatively new, um, and what kind of his... Uh, uh, je ne sais quoi brings to working and what makes Gordon Beers Gordon Beers? <laughs> well, Dan is a great team leader. He's really enthusiastic. I was an athlete in college, and so is he. We get along in that aspect. We know how much hard work it takes, but like you said, he's an innovator, So, and so am I. Uh, and we just do a great job bouncing ideas off each other. Sometimes we come up with crazy, crazy things, but um, I think we just we round each other out really well, and he's really fun to work for. So it's... Um, it's definitely a good environment. Good. Yeah, a lot of fun going on here at Gordon Biersch. So, Caitlin, thanks for, uh, for coming on the Cube. This is Jeff Frick. We're at Gordon Biersch, San Jose, California. You're watching the Cube. Thanks for watching.